Make sure you check out part one of our sex and gender series for an overview of the terms and the science of biological sex. And here are some quick definitions. Cisgender individuals are people whose gender matches their biological sex. Transgender individuals are people whose gender does not match their biological sex. We call biological males who identify as females trans females. We call biological females who identify as males trans males. So when do children start to understand gender? Babies as young as three to four months old can distinguish between male and female faces. By six months, they are able to discriminate faces and voices by sex. By 10 months, they are able to form stereotypic associations between faces and gender-typed objects such as a scarf or a hammer. By age 2, children start to know the concept of gender and show gender-related preferences and toys. By age 3, they start to use gender pronouns such as him or her. By age 4 and 5, they start to learn more abstract cultural beliefs about gender role concepts. And where does the concept of gender come from? According to the social theory, children get rewards and punishments for appropriate and inappropriate behavior. Children get cues from their environment about how they should behave. Little girls learn how to be girls, and boys learn how to be boys. And they learn that it's important to conform to these gender roles set by their society. There's also the cognitive theory, which is about how children form categories in their heads. In this case, children learn to classify people into categories of males and females. And then there is the gender schema theory, which combines the cognitive and social theories. It states that children form concepts about various gender characteristics, and these concepts are based on their own social and learning history. What does the research say about transgenderism? Children often are aware that they are transgender at an early age, as young as 18 months old to 2 years of age. However, this is not true for everyone. For some, gender is much more fluid and changes throughout the lifespan. It is unclear what causes transgender identities. For many years, transgender identity was considered a mental disorder caused by psychological and environmental factors such as parenting and trauma. Therefore, much of the psychological research has been done based on the premise that transgenderism is a psychological disturbance. Other researchers conflate gender identity with sexual orientation. Now, most psychologists agree that transgenderism is not a disorder, it is just another individual difference. There is very little research that specifically looks into the psychology of transgenderism in a way that doesn't treat it as a disorder. The same gender development theories for cis people may be applicable to trans individuals. People form their gender identities through their own classifications of genders in their heads, and these categories are then modified by what they see and experience in their lives. More research needs to be done in this area to understand the psychology of transgenderism. On the other hand, recent research has found neurological bases for transgenderism. As we mentioned in our Science of Sex video, sexual differentiation of the brain occurs after sexual differentiation of the genitalia, which suggests that biological sex development, aka what our genitalia look like, and gender development, aka what our brains think, are separate processes. People with different sex and gender combinations also have variations in their genes, brain structures, and brain functions. A brain area called the bed nucleus of the stria terminalis, or BNST, is thought to be different between biological males and females. Studies have found that trans females' BNSTs are more similar to cis females, and trans males' BNSTs are more similar to cis males. It seems like people's brains look more like their preferred gender than their assigned sex. Another study looked at the structure of white matter, which is the part of the brain that contains connections between brain cells. They found differences among people with different sex and gender combinations. In several brain regions, cis females had the highest level of something called mean diffusivity, followed by trans males, then trans females, and finally cis males. This supports the idea that gender identity is a spectrum. Taken together, development of sex and gender are clearly separate processes, and gender is more determined by their brain than their genitalia. The literature on transgenderism is scarce, with much more evidence on the biological side than the psychological side, and most psychological research has been done based on the premise that transgenderism is a disorder that needs to be cured. More research has to be done in the field. It is important to know that studying the ideology is not to single out transgenderism as something deviant, but to understand it as another thing that makes people who they are. Thanks for watching. Click on the description below for sources and to read more into the topic. Please check out our other videos. Click on the left to see what people think about mental health. Click on the right to watch us debunk common misconceptions. And remember to check back next week for the final part of the Sex and Gender series.